Okay, so pin loss track. The HS ATV, River Shores ATV Club, and uh, Bicora, Bruce Peninsula Off Road Riders Association. I will admit I have not been here yet. So this will be a first for me. Today I switched out, I'm back to my uh, Hero 7 Black, the, uh, the 9 I got to admit, I don't like the audio, so let's see how this one fares out. I've heard that complaint about a lot of people that have bought the, the Hero 9 Black, they uh, always end up paying extra money and getting their uh, media mod. make it a little better for them, so. Again, this will just be a slow once through. I'm unfamiliar with this trail. I know it's just double track, but uh, it is a multi-use trail, so you don't know if you're gonna cr come across hikers or other bikes or ATVs or side-by-sides, so. to uh, address something, a comment that was made on the last video, um, basically bashing the efforts of uh, these clubs, uh, making a comment about that uh, Col Ross track that it's no better than, no better than the rail trail. Well, it's double track. Its primary use is the side-by-sides and the ATVs. Bipora is fortunate to be able to piggyback on this trail system. And uh, they are a new club. It's their first year in existence. And uh, you don't get everything overnight. Um, the county's being a bit hesitant to allow them to do more than what's already in these forest tracks. And I get it, 100%. Um, anything motorized use is generally frowned upon by the by the majority of the public, which is unfortunate. Well, this is a little different. So, the fact that they've been able to accomplish so much so quickly with the help of the OFTR and the support of the uh, ATV club uh, speaks volumes as to where the club is going. So, quite frankly, if you don't like the double track, stay off of it. Leave it for those that are going to enjoy it. The club will get there. If you're disappointed that you spent your, your dollars and you're not getting single track this year, well, I hate to say it, but uh, that is the way it is. It's a new club. There's going to be growing pains. There's been no lack of effort on the club's behalf to... Uh, Established single track and get a foot in the door somewhere, but it, again, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, very unlikely they'll get anything this year. I don't even know if they're going to get anything next year. I really hope they do. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be in the province to uh, take advantage of the uh, the hard work that those guys are, are, are putting in, the hard work that we did to get started with it. Um, but that's just it. It's hard work on everybody's behalf, and if you don't like what they've accomplished, do something about it. Uh, the individual I'm speaking of, I'm not gonna throw names, uh, very passionate writer, and I appreciate that. And this, uh, this gentleman's been a known voice in the writing community for a long time, and I do have some respect for him. He's overcome a lot, um, but stop being a keyboard warrior. If uh, you wanna see more stuff, you wanna see different trail, do something about it, help out. Put your name out there, do a little bit of leg work and, and, and try to help them get what you're after and what, quite frankly, a lot of us want. Um, I, I've said in my last video that uh, I am a single track guy. That is my preference. 
but uh, there's nothing wrong with getting out and enjoying this stuff. So again, if it's not what you like, don't use it. Next year, get your membership somewhere else if you're that against it. But getting your membership and putting Bacora down if you live in that area is going to help them in the future. A nice little picnic spot back here. Cool. It's going to help them get what you're after and what we're all after, and that's more trails. So, uh, again, stop being a keyboard warrior. Get off your ass and do something about it. Nothing against the individual personally. Again, I've got a lot of respect for them. Um, but, uh, yeah, bashing the hard work that everybody else has put in when you have no clue what's gone on behind the scenes is uh, kind of a BS move, and you look like a dick for saying it. So I'll uh, end the rant there. But uh, going on with this, I gotta say, this is actually a really nice one for double track. It's a uh, nice winding trail, very scenic. Very beautiful trail. I know it's a short one. This is uh, the smallest one. I well, I guess uh, the Karashia track might be smaller on the county side of it, but uh, this Karashia is small. The, the large one is not done yet. I don't know the status of that. I've kind of been out of it since I stepped aside, so I really don't know what's been done and what's uh, what's still on the table for completion. So. Again, I gotta say, guys, um, Tyler and the crew at uh, the Huron Shores Club, you guys have done a fantastic job, and uh, we are very lucky to be able to uh, enjoy these trails along with you guys, and hopefully that uh, Huron Shores ATV Club and before our relationship goes a long way in the future, because, uh, again, you can only work together to help grow the sport and uh, it seems like you guys have done that very well so far so thank you to both sides of that crew yeah, this is actually a really beautiful trail it's uh again it's a lot shorter than the call ross track but uh i gotta say a lot more scenic in my opinion I believe this is something I, I saw some video on this. This was a section that was redone in the last couple of years. So it looks like the old trail was over in the woods over there, so obviously a, a wet spot they've been dealing with for quite some time. So this stuff up in the uh, OFTR out now. Well, this one, uh, Kinloss, has always been in it uh, since the beginning of the season. So, uh, Cole Ross was added the other day, so if you go to your OFTR app, the uh, trail I rode northwest of Wingham is now on there and shows it as open. Um, the Karashita track, for whatever reason, shows it as being closed. So, again, I haven't been part of the club now for a couple of months. I don't know if they've... Uh, installed on a land access agreement with the municipal track in there, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, my intent was to go there today, um, but when I checked the app, it was showing it closed, so um, I don't want to go on there if it is in fact closed. I don't want to uh, I don't want to uh, jeopardize that relationship if there's a reason for it being closed, so come across a little bit farther only right around the corner, really, uh, just a couple of miles, to this uh, Kinloss track instead. And uh, i got to say, um, I am not disappointed. This is a beautiful little uh, side tour. Very, very easy on an adventure bike. Uh, again, rocking the old school uh, KLR today. Uh, 
a lot of the stuff, it's hard to justify bringing the dirt bike out for a lot of this stuff, but uh, time on the bike is time on the bike, take what you can get, right? So, I'm gonna stop ahead, I guess that's, uh, and that's it, again, nice small loop. But, uh, There are some uh, mountain bike slash uh, hiking trails in here as well, so. So there we go, that's a, a loop of what we just did starting in this corner and out the wide part and up and around. So there you go, pin last track in the uh, Depora here on Shores ATV Club trails.